somebody, everything's going well, but then something pops up where you go, ah, I don't know. Is, is there something else going on? We try to figure out. War of the Roses on Intern John and your morning show. Let's go in Arlington. Tina, good morning. Good morning. So walk us through this because you and Nate, not the longest of relationships, only been dating for about how long? Or I guess I should say in a relationship for how long? Well, officially, officially, it's only been about a month, but okay. we've been seeing each other. I don't know how to word it, I guess, cat unofficially for four months. Okay. But we became official recently, and it's only been about a month, and, you know, basically we discussed not seeing anybody else. Sure. Okay. And I kind of feel like verbally it's been discussed. Yeah. I just feel like his actions haven't really changed. Gotcha. And, and so you just know, just so I can clear up the timeline, so we were, we were hanging out, quote unquote, for three months, and then defined the relationship a month ago. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah. And since we defined the relationship, if I'm reading between the lines and reading from your email, part of your concern was it didn't seem outwardly like anything's changed with behavior on right. his end. Yeah, like you know, hiding his phone. Yeah. You know, he's still. Uh, and I don't know if it's out of habit, but it just seems like he's hiding something, okay. you know, and, and, and it just doesn't feel like anything's different sure. to me. And okay. you, you openly um, admit that, like, during those three months, he was seeing other people and you were too, like, which is totally fine. Yeah, you, weren't committed. you know, we, right, we weren't committed yet, okay. um, but I just have a feeling there's still something going on with him, and okay. so I kind of did something a little i don't know how i when he was sleeping i went through his phone yeah okay and um you know i just noticed something on tiktok and i was like you know let me just check and when i was going through his phone believe it or not i found it in his notes section yeah. of his phone yeah mm, there was smart. all of these girls names yeah. like tons of girls names not just that it had like links to their instagram okay and so a oh, lot of them yeah. were after my name okay so and, i was there and then there was like others after me sure and so this like is the, um we have the screenshots here the interesting thing is it was edited recently which is an odd like within the past mm. uh week so this is yeah. in theory like a, almost like a roster if you will pretty in depth yeah. to have um the Instagram links on that's next level, that's and a lot. so you you found you, you I guess your profile as well, and then how many names after you? Oh, there was like eight or nine. Busy man. A, okay. Okay. In theory, mm. like this could all have been months ago, mm -hmm. and everything is okay. In theory, but I get like mm -hmm. probably a little bit anxious right now. If you want to find out, I just need to know. I know yeah. this is the wrong way to do it, but no, I listen. Just, no, we got you. Okay. I'm riddled with anxiety. Yeah, so let's let's do this. Um, we will have Sauce call it off of the flowers. Clearly, should go to you. If they go to somebody else, we'll try to see what's going on. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. No problem. War of the Roses on Intern John and your morning show. War of the Roses on Intern John and your morning show. Tina, let me recap this quick. So you and Nate uh, were quote unquote hanging out so to speak for about three months uh defined the relationship about a month ago so now a month of officially dating uh i don't think i asked you this maybe i, I missed it but whose idea was it to define the relationship to tie each other down so to speak it was mine i i'm the one that gotcha. brought it to the table and yeah. was he receptive did he push back at first was he more like it's time I mean, he said, yeah, yeah, that's cool, okay. but not, you know, anything. Got you. Okay. And then, the um, since then, the, the, I guess kind of the first uh, flag, if you will, was you noticed that his behavior hasn't really changed since we became official. Still hiding his phone, still can be hard to get a hold of. It's not like um, his actions have done anything to ease your anxiety. Is that fair? Yeah, exactly. And then we saw a video about checking things in somebody's phone. So I went through his phone, went through his notes, found a list of female names, including their Instagram uh, profile links, which is crazy. Found your name, mm -hmm. and then he said about eight names or so uh, after you, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, which, 
in theory, like it could just be he got really busy when you guys first started talking and nothing's wrong. Like this doesn't necessarily mean something's up, but I get the idea of like wanting to know. The one thing I want to ask you, and I think is a really important thing in an early relationship, have you met his friends and family? Oh, no. Okay. Have, I mean, I met one friend when we were out, but not really. It was just like, sure. you know, met at a bar. Have you mentioned to him meeting friends and family or brought it up? I've brought up meeting more of his friends. Okay. But the family thing, I'm, you know, don't want to. I guess, like, you're yeah. only a month in, so that's probably you don't seem yeah. fair. Yeah. So, but you okay. also have known them for a bit or have been talking for, like, three months. Yeah. Right? That's, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they're. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just one month. Let's uh, know. let's do this. Let's have a sauce column off from the flowers. They should go to you. If they don't, though, we'll get some answers for you. Okay. All right. I hope they go to me. All right, we'll find Thanks out. Hold on one second. And if they do, good. If not, we'll be good in the long run. Yeah. Hello. Hi, is this Nate? Yeah, who's this? Hi, so this is Kendall. I'm just calling you from a new local flower shop. We're called YMS Flowers, and we're doing some new marketing, especially with Valentine's Day next week. So we're offering a free bouquet of a dozen red roses. They're beautiful. Just in hopes that you'll come back to us, you know, for holidays, birthdays, and, like, you'll physically see the roses just, you know, because we're new. Is that something you might be interested in? Honestly, not really. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now, and, okay. and I don't really want to sign up with this and or give you guys my credit card. No, it's, really. it's totally free. You don't sign up for anything. We just want, you know, because we're brand new, we want to have our product physically in homes, businesses, wherever, so that you come back to us, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. Um, and you just popped up my list, so it's free. I'm sure there's someone in your life that would love a beautiful bouquet of a dozen roses. You'd be helping out a small business. Yeah. If you help me That's go true. to college. No, you, sound, you sound super sweet. So, Thank you. Um, I think I am. Yeah. Um, I mean, I... You sound, no, you sound super nice. Um, I, sure. I mean, what if we do like a BOGO thing? You know what I mean? Like we'll like, buy one, get one? Um. So you pay for one of the bouquets and then you would send a free one? Yeah, basically oh. I'll take the free flowers if that's an offer, and then okay. I'll just buy a new bouquet and send... send do you someone. want um, a dozen red roses for the other bouquet, or...? Yes, definitely. Okay, so that would be two dozen roses. Who's the lucky person? Well, I'm actually going to split them up, so it's actually a lucky person. But, yeah, I'm a nice guy. Okay, so these are romantic. I just want to throw them out there, you know, with the holiday coming. Um, they're red, beautiful roses, just so you're aware. Totally, yeah, no, I'm I'm a romantic guy, so this is great. Okay, um, so for the first free bouquet, who do you want those to go to? So let's do the free ones to Tina, okay, and then on the card, just put a smiley face. Um. Okay, just a smiley face. Yep, that's it. Sure. And then, um, and what is she to you? Just so we can, you know, take inventory for our records. Yeah, she's just the homie. You know what I mean? Like she's mm -hmm. just the homie, and you know, all good. So I put friend, or you literally want me to write homie? Yeah, homie's good. My mom's going to be like, I don't even know. Uh, okay, so for the second bouquet, these are the ones you're paying for. Um, we can make them a little bit nicer since you are paying for them, but they're still going to be... Do you, you said you still want the fr the bouquet of a dozen red roses, so uh, we can add some like ribbon and stuff. Would that be cool? That'd be great. That sounds super like romantic. So yeah, and let's send these to uh, a girl named Val. V-A-L. Okay, and then... And what do you want? Yeah. What do you want that card to say? Yeah, on the on the card, just like two simple words: slurp, slurp. Did so you? That's it. Did, did you say slurp? Like like slurp, like you're drinking slurp? Yeah, exactly. Like you're drinking from a straw type thing. Yeah, it's an inside joke, and she'll get it. It's cute. Okay, because I was about to ask what you mean. Okay, uh, slurp, slurp, and then what is she to you? I'm assuming not your home, your homie. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's just a, uh, she's a vibe, you know, it a just vibe. feels good. It's a, it's Who a the vibe. hell is Val? A vibe? Yeah. That's a good question to ask. That is a good question. 
Who the f- can't, about? No, we can't, say, yeah. we can't phrase the question that yeah. way, but yeah, it's a good question, We'd like uh, to know. Tina. Um, Nate, my name's Intern John. I got Sauce and Rose uh, here as well. We are doing a War of the Roses on the show. And to Tina's earlier point, who is Val and what's this slurp slurp, bruh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um... Hey Tina, uh, look at what, what's so what? What's the point? Yeah, it's a, she's a friend of mine. What's what's the big deal? Why? Here? Okay, but why? Are you serious? Yeah, that's yes. Nothing. You got this. Are you are you kidding right now? She's just a friend. What's the big deal? You called me your homie. That's fair. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, but what's it? And you? Tina, I sent you flowers too. You got flowers. So why are you so upset? Oh, you mean the free bull hours okay, that you just, gave me? Say that word either. But let me ask you this. Let me oh. ask you this, Nate. Why would you, if you sent flowers, I mean, you started off smart, right? You sent flowers to your girlfriend. Why send a dozen roses to another woman you're not dating? Literally. I mean, she's a female friend. I can't send flowers to her, a friend near Valentine's Day. I thought it was a nice gesture, and I'm a nice you, guy. No, correct. You cannot. If, if, you're, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you cannot send red roses to somebody else near Valentine's yeah. Day. That's correct. Who says I'm in a relationship? Mm. Are you? Oh, oh my God. God. It's so hard not to curse right now. You're such a we're in a relationship. We've been, yeah. other, we've been seeing each other for like barely a month. Like, yeah, but you know how this works? Uh, but I'm you just, said it's a relationship, though. After three what? months, you guys had the talk. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had the talk that we were official. You have like... A roster of women in your phone, and now you have somebody that the slurp, slurp, so an gross. inside joke. You are so full of it. When she used, first, of, I have two questions. First of all, when she uses a straw, it's kind of funny, and she slurp, just slurp. Stop. That's kind of a cute just thing. Stop. Number two, why are you going through my phone? What are that's you? Not, like, no, what are you that's not it. no, 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 no. Don't it. put me on. Your beep is on the block right now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. You're. You're sending flowers, and then you get the ribbon, and you spend the money on her, and you call me a homie, and it's around Valentine's Day. Bull. Okay, so that, okay. Yeah, no, that's I'm fair. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm we're sorry, good. No. but I'm really no, no. deservedly. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. We love your thoughts. War of the Roses on Intern John in your morning show in Wheaton. Amber, good morning. Hi, good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? I did, and it kind of makes me want to check my boyfriend's phone. No! Like, I don't, like, back him of anything or... I'm not suspicious of him at all, yeah. but I don't know. Like, like now I just kind of want to check it. Oh, boy. <laughs> don't, don't blame us. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. You too. And everything is... Intern John and your morning show. Podcast. On iHeartRadio.